What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Seek on a Speed 252 and we're here at the North Carolina Auto Show. Now I came here because I usually come here every year once a year. It's a show they put on, as you all know, it's an auto show that has different new cars, different brands, different generations, different years, different models. And they display these cars pretty much to try to get or entice people to actually buy them. As you all know, like I'm in love with this mentioned Corvette. I'm in love with like a new Chevy truck. I'm just in love with cars in general, which is why I also have a YouTube channel. Um, as you guys see right now, I'm standing in front of a 2020 Sierra 2500 HD Denali. Um, this truck right here is currently going on sale for $78,455. Um, this is a truck that I actually really like a lot. So let me get inside and see if I can go ahead and point out some things about this bad boy. As you know, I don't have the key, so this is something that I have no control of. But as you can see right now, let's talk about the cosmetic stuff that Chevrolet did with the new Silverado compared to like the 2019. Once again, this is a 2020 model, so I'm super excited to kind of talk about some of the new features in this car. As you can see right now, you know you have the Denali right here, you have the crash responsive system, you have the heated and um, cooled steering wheel, and if I say anything wrong, please forgive me. There's tons of people around, so I'm kind of making sure I don't like, you know, take over this truck. If you know me, I will take over and just go about everything. But let's see here, we got the, um, Cruise control sets right here. You got the Bluetooth right here, the phone. This is where you can go up and down, whether you're kind of, you know, trying to change the station, the channel, whatever, on the radio. As you can see right here, the radio clearly isn't on, but this is a screen. No, this screen does not go up and down, at least from what I know of. Um, here's your power button. Uh, you know, here's, the, I'm sure your setting buttons, all that stuff, where you can press OK, everything right here. You have your home screen button, your back button from side to side as well. You have your auto button, which you, obviously you can turn your heat up, up and down using this. Um, auto, you got sync. So with sync, you can actually sync both of these gauges together to where both your temperature can be the same on both sides. If you decide to not want the temperature to be if I'm cold and my passenger is hot, you can actually unsync both of these and actually turn that off if you want to. As you can see, this is the normal stuff that's in the car where you can turn the AC on and off right here. Here's your driver's crash response system, your exhaust brake, um, your tailgate, your hazard, um, all that good stuff where you can plug things up. This is one of my favorite parts of the truck. I used to have this in my 2014 Silverado. Now I'm gonna get closer because I never use it. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's actually like an outlet. It's a 12 volt outlet, a three prong outlet that you would use um, as if you was at your house trying to plug in something in the wall. I think it's a pretty cool feature, especially for somebody if you got a passenger right here and they're really working on their laptop, they're working and getting stuff done and they're trying to get stuff accomplished while you're taking an out of town trip or even with you actually in state as well. I mean, that feature comes in really handy these days for a laptop and a lot of people are like, well, you know, does a truck have a hotspot? Absolutely. After 2015, Chevrolet has put hotspots, um, Wi-Fi in each one of their fifths. I know when I first sat it in my Corvette, it was costing me 20 bucks a month unlimited and uh, 10 bucks a month for like maybe two or three gigabytes. I went to two or three gigabytes like it wasn't nothing. Um, so right now, I did let mine inspire because I actually am not driving the Corvette at the moment just because of the weather and all that stuff, but I am planning to get that back because surely, hopefully, once I get my C8 Miniature Corvette home, you kind of join both of those things together. If you take a look up here, you have, you know, obviously the LED lighting. You have um, the, on, the off, the on and off right here. We can turn it on and off, which is pretty cool. You got the slide back and forth as far as the sunroof. As you can see right now, the sunroof is back, so there's definitely an open gap right here. Um, I can't really push this back just because it's already pretty much been pushed backwards. I like this. This is actually in my Silverado as well. Pretty cool feature to have, pretty unique, definitely something different. Um, I'm going to assume this help keeps like the bugs and all that stuff from actually flying back inside of the vehicle. Could be wrong, don't quote me on that. Um, if you take a look here, this is one, two, three. This is for if you got a garage at home and you want to do actually different settings. Um, I don't know, I guess so many people have, my house isn't big enough, I only have one garage door, but you know, a lot of rich, fancy people have more than one garage. And so they can program one, two, three for each one of the garages. Here's my little plus sign for when they actually, you know, when I can go out and come back in. Um, here is your own start system, the emergency, and you can call people from there as well, which is pretty cool. And this is where technically you see all your kind of um, personal stuff at. As far as OnStar goes, now I don't know if a lot of you know what OnStar is. Pretty simple, nothing that complicated. With OnStar, you can actually get on OnStar, push that button. That's how you get your Wi-Fi. That's how you connect your car. If you are locked out of your car, you can contact them from your app. They can unlock it for you. They can remote start it from you. They can tell you where your car is at. If you get lost somewhere, they can actually 
find your car if it gets stolen. So OwnStar is a great feature to have, and they also give you certain discounts at hotels and stuff when you travel like that across the country in your big 2500. Now for me, these new trucks are so humongous compared like the 2019. I drove a 2019 a few times when my dealership at Hendrick at South Point let me borrow one, and I love each and every bit of it, but I kind of want a 2020. Now, I know one of those things where trucks are really expensive, but I would need an awesome truck to be able to tow my cars around the country. Um, right now, I want to keep my C7, but at the same time, I need a vehicle that can tow both of those cars. So let's go ahead and look at more of this truck right now. Actually, what I do like about the 2019s, you're not, you, you have a key, but with the 2020s, you just beat the key in your pocket and you push this button right here. Now, with that being said, there ain't no key in here. So I was hoping that something was gonna happen, right? Place key and transmit in pocket to start your vehicle. Clearly, I don't have a key. So let's go ahead and talk about these gauge wires on. Now you have your oil, your oil dip right here. You have your, oh. All right, you have your, um, um, far as your temperature gauge right here, you have your gas and you have your battery as well. You have your, uh, your, your miles per hour right here. Your RPMs right here. And you go on to this side, which is a pretty cool feature as well. You have your mode when you're towing something, your auto, your um, two high, your four low, your four high. You have the light where you can put in the tailgate. Um, all that stuff you can control right here, just on your side. And then you have the part brake right here as well, which I'm assuming is gonna be the emergency when you wanna kinda of put the emergency button down. Um, the emergency for as the brakes goes, um, emergency brakes. If you come on to the driveway, they got the Bose system right here. And you got the lock, lock and unlock. Obviously this is a handle. You can set your seating. So if you have multiple people driving your vehicle or you and your wife and you guys decide to take the truck out at different times, you can program one for yourself, you can program one for her. And that way when you get in the vehicle, all you have to do is just press the button, whoever you are, press this button and obviously go back to the settings that you would like them to be at. You can see right here, this controls the mirror. Now this is an absolutely humongous mirror right here, by the way. So you can control that by left and right. Obviously this one right here is for this one. This one right here is for this one over there. And you can control it to get it to the best angle you need to is to drive carefully and safely when you're on the road. Obviously this is the windows up and down button. Also right here, these control the back. And you have your big cup holders as well, so you can store a lot of stuff. These seats, you can actually you know, go back and forth right here, forward right here, you can control it, get it to your liking. And as you can see right now, this is a GMC Denali. You got on the back of the seat as well. So if anybody tell you anything different, the Denali is the top of the line that you can get with this brand. Um, you got your charger right here, your carport as well. You have your standard 12 volt outlet right here as well. You have the deep cup holders along with these deep cup holders here. And if you lift this up, you see how deep that is? This is a lot of space with the LED lighting. This is pretty deep, pretty cool. Um, you got your USB cord right here you can put in there. That's your auxiliary cord right here. You can put an SD card in here as well to remember certain things when you're traveling. I mean, this vehicle has a lot of great qualities, a lot of great features, and the towing capacity on these things is insane. I mean, I think from the tow hitch from the back, you can tow at least like 18,000 sometimes, 18,000 some pounds with this truck, and that'll pretty much carry two cars. But I haven't decided on if I really wanted a 2,500 or a 3,500. But either way, I would definitely have interest rest. I would definitely have interest in getting one of these bad boys. I like the running boards, as you can see right here. Nice and clean, nice and sharp. You pull up the gas tank, the gas right here. So they got this so you can't put anything in there, obviously, but this is a gas cap. And this is the diff. Obviously, you can get the diff put in when you go get your oil changes and stuff like that. This is the, uh, the diesel, actually. I wouldn't say gas cap, the diesel. And when you go to the gas pump, you can't get it confused. You have the diesel, this is green, which obviously is color-coded for that, so you won't get it confused at all. Look at this, though. This big old truck back here as well. And these big old tires, let's see what size they are. Uh, these are 275, 65, 20. And the wheels don't look that bad. I actually don't mind them at all. Um, I appreciate what they have. You can see the step up ladder right here. We call it a step up ladder, but an extra step. You can put your step there, climb in, get what you need. This is a spray in bed liner, which is pretty neat, which is pretty cool. Um, I like the way they did it. It looks professional. We got the Nolly back here as well. Take a look, you can see the mirror right here. You can see the sunroof right there. You can actually also see the, the gap. Now, my last truck did not have this, so it'll be a pretty cool feature to have for sure. As you can see, they got GM right here as well, General Motors Company. You slide on down, you have another step right here. You actually have something that can actually grip, so if you wanna get on this bad boy right here, 
Now most of these trucks come with um, the fifth wheel hitch already installed, which you can see one, two, three, four, five. So if you want to tow some really heavy good stuff, the gooseneck is the best way to tow from what I heard. I have never towed from the gooseneck, but I have towed from the hitch before. This is one of the best things to have. And I like these 2020, 2020 trucks so they automatically come with them already installed. Or if you can actually pay to get it installed as well. Another good thing about these trucks, and I'm not gonna be able to control this, but this step, this comes down as a step as well on its own. And you can get your, get your easy access in the vehicle as well. Here's another step on this side which actually helps you get a lot easier as well so this truck has a lot of great features and it's pretty big i mean it's pretty humongous has crash roll side assistance like i said before if you go into the back seat back here go ahead and open this up there's plenty of space so as you all know i'm six foot two this chair i'm pretty sure is all the way back look how much room space i have see all the leg space i have i'm still able to still sit back here comfortable Back here you have the heated and cool seats as well. Well, these look like it's just heated seats, so I'm sorry. Not cool seats, but heated seats. Have your 12 volt outlet right here, and your um, USB cable right here and things you can plug in along with your heating and cool vents. You also have cup holders back here for your guests or your passenger, your kids. You know, obviously if you don't want to use that and you don't have any kids, you can just flush that right on in. And you can pull these seats up just like this. And now you got your storage bin down here as well. You can store a bunch of stuff in here to keep it from rolling back and forth. I'm assuming this is your jack and stuff like that, just in case you get a flat tire and you want to jack your car up. So this truck offers a lot of great features. And I would love, love, love to have one of these bad boys. So once, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, definitely subscribe to that video. I got the music going on in the background over there, which is a C8 mini engine Corvette. I'll go over there shortly try to get some footage. It's going to be probably a little bit difficult because there's going to be people around it and that music is going to probably give me copyright strike. So uh -huh, I feel bad about that. But let's hope that doesn't really happen. And then once again, you have the LED lighting here. So overall, this truck looks amazing. It's a great truck to have, great features. I mean, I really do want one. And you know, if you guys want that on the channel, let me know. If you guys think I should buy a GMC Denali or GMC truck, 2500 or 3500, you let me know. Leave your comments down below because I've really read all your comments and listen to your responses and respond back. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So with that being said, At the heart of Sierra Heavy Duty is either an available 6.6-liter .6 V8 turbo diesel or gasoline engine. The all-new 6.6-liter .6 V8 gasoline engine delivers 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque. An 11% increase in horsepower and a 22% increase in peak torque over the previous 6-liter V8 gasoline engine. This standard engine elevates Sierra Heavy Duty's performance and efficiency with direct injection and variable valve timing. It also features a forged steel crankshaft and powder metal connecting rods with additional high strength components to provide added durability. This gasoline powertrain is paired to a proven 6-speed automatic transmission with upgraded components to handle the 6.6-liter .6 V8's higher torque output than the outgoing 6-liter V8 gasoline engine. An available Duramax 6.6-liter .6 turbo diesel puts 445 horsepower and 910 pound-feet of torque to the ground. An all-new heavy-duty exclusive Allison 10-speed automatic transmission with closely spaced gears delivers smooth shifts and helps keep the engine in its optimal power band, whether the truck is loaded, pulling a trailer, or hauling passengers. This transmission endured rugged commercial system standard tests to help ensure durability. A dual-path intake system on diesel models draws dense, cool air through both the prominent hood scoop and massive front grille that is larger than the previous generation truck. Sierra Heavy Duties equipped with the available Duramax turbo diesel are also fitted with the largest engine-driven fan ever put on a GMC Heavy Duty truck, all in an effort to help keep the diesel engine at an optimal temperature. Adding to these cooling efforts on Duramax turbo diesel equipped models is the first ever factory installed engine after run feature. This technology allows the engine to keep running for up to 15 minutes to help protect the diesel engine parts after strenuous towing conditions. With the available Duramax turbo diesel engine and Allison 10-speed pairing, a factory integrated, 
Engine Driven Power Takeoff, or PTO, is also available and intended primarily for commercial use. This is the first integrated PTO system in the heavy duty truck segment and allows you to adjust the load and torque output to transfer from the engine to another piece of equipment, such as a generator, pump, or hydraulic crane. With either powertrain, you can engage tow haul mode. Twist the drive mode control knob to the left of the steering wheel to select. This unlocks more power and holds gears longer to allow for easy towing. Turn off the vehicle and tow haul remains engaged on the next key on cycle for up to four hours. The truck will also remind you to select tow haul mode after attaching a trailer saved in the in-vehicle trailering app. Below the drive mode control knob are available four-wheel drive controls. A new two-speed auto track transfer case with an active four-wheel drive setting is also available, providing seamless shifting between two and four-wheel drive based on road conditions. With these two engine options, complemented by advanced transmissions and technologies, Sierra Heavy Duty offers you a world-class towing experience. For more information, refer to your owner's manual.